Dealsource.tech is your number one source for daily tech deals for all of US, UK and Canada. All of the deals are handpicked and updated daily, so if you guys are interested in saving time and money, then just bookmark the website and feel free to check back whenever you want. There are always new deals getting added every day. I'll drop a link to the website down below. What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and today we're going to take a look at Corsair's new lineup of rapid fire keyboards with Cherry MX Speed switches. Essentially, these keyboards are aimed at competitive gamers where every second counts. The MXP switches have 45 grams of actuation force and a 1.2 millimeter actuation distance compared to the average 2 millimeter, making them 40% faster than MX Reds. It may not seem like a big difference on paper, but when you're in a tournament and the stakes are high, you definitely want to have the advantage against your opponent, especially in games where every millisecond counts, like Black Ops 3 or even CSGO. The rapid fire lineup is currently available on the K65 RGB and both versions of the K70 RGB and standard. The keyboard I have in this video is the K70 RGB and it retails for $170 whereas the other models cost slightly less. Aesthetically, there's nothing really different than their previous keyboards. Corsair is still using the best quality materials that separates them from the competition. An aluminum chassis that has a brushed look on the surface, media controls on the top right corner that include a windows lock key, a 3 step brightness control and a volume wheel. They have also stuck with their detachable wrist rest which is extremely comfortable. The extra WASD keycaps are textured along with the spacebar just like before, however the font is slightly wider this time around. In the back is a USB pass through which is very nice to see, next to that is a polling rate switch and underneath the keyboard is a set of height adjustable legs. Now that we got all of that out of the way, let's take a closer look at these switches. So these are linear switches, meaning it has smooth travel from top to bottom, which means that there is no tactile bump or clicky sound present, much like the cherry blacks or reds. However, this time around, the keys have a much shorter distance to actuate, 1.2mm compared to 2mm from MX Browns. Keep in mind that because the actuation distance is shorter, it allows the key to reset faster and ready to press again, resulting in more keystrokes over a period of time. Now although the keyboard doesn't come with a white backplate like my Corsair Strafe does which helps reflect off the RGB lighting, it does have its own advantages. First off, the clear switch housings allow the RGB lights to shine through which is more visible from the sides. And second, it's a lot easier to clean since there is no caved backplate. However, with the absence of the white backplate, the colors do appear more dark and less vibrant. I also noticed this green and red color effect that illuminated from the clear switch housing. It's especially noticeable with white LEDs. So how does the rapid fire keyboard do in gaming? To be honest, I'm not sure. I'm not a competitive gamer, so I really couldn't tell the difference. I tried playing CSGO and Black Ops 3 and I have learned one thing and one thing only. I was terrible at both games before and still terrible even after using the keyboard. But no matter how you look at it and what game you are playing or what you are typing, the rapid fire keyboard with Cherry MX Speed switches will register faster than other regular switches. So if you want the fastest keyboard out there regardless of how much of a difference it really provides, then the rapid fire lineup from Corsair is something you should definitely pick up. The build quality and features alone make this a great buy. I for one am happy with my Corsair Strafe keyboard and see no real reason to switch since I'm mostly editing videos and only game casually. But that will do it for this video, thank you guys so much for watching, if you enjoyed it make sure to hit that like button and I'll drop a link to the keyboard down below if you guys want to check that out. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.